Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Morales Outdoors. It is I, Pedro Morales. And hey, look, we got Lakeisha with us today. All right, so I already got one line set in. I got the Lamy glass set up, uh, two ounce weight on the end, um, two hooks, and we're uh, fishing with some sandworms. I hear there's porgies in here, so we're gonna see if we can get some. But check this out, we are in Newport, Rhode Island. We got the beautiful bridge right there in front of us. Uh, we got this bay, all these beautiful boats, just a beautiful uh, park here. Uh, she, as you can see, she has her uh, squid set up. We're gonna come here tonight and, and really try to hammer the squid, but right now she's uh, working on uh, learning how to use this jig, and we're seeing if we can get some, get lucky and even grab some. So, hey, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy. It is Monday. And uh, we're going to see if we can get on some fish. Stay tuned. I didn't want this. It's a small one. It's a small sculpin. Got caught in some... Yeah, but I got caught in weeds for a second there. Unless... I don't know what happened here. It's fighting. Oh, it's a flounder. It's a little flounder. <laughs> Check that out, ladies and gentlemen, a small flounder. My first ever. Take a picture for me, please. Look at how fast he's going, dude. Look at how the eyes are on top. See that? They swim like that. Remember, we gotta get this back in the water. Hey guys, my first flounder ever out of Rhode Island. We're gonna let this little bad boy go. <laughs> and there he goes, just like that. What? Dude, you got two of them. Those are bigger ones too. Both of them are nicer size ones. That is awesome. Look at that. Hold that up. Let me uh, get a picture. Where's my? Where'd you put my phone? On the chair right here. What's that? Oh, good. All right, it's got a good fight, huh? Yeah, it does. That's the fun. That's awesome. Oh, thank you. Oh, all right, nice oh, one. Nice Go over there and bring it over here. Nice. Look at that. Nice bottom lip hook set. Let's see. They got to be 10 inches, right? I think so. Yeah, he's not big enough. That's eight and a half. That one, not that little one, but I had a big one on here, dude. Missed it. Oh, he's fighting now. It's a, it's the same one kind, but it's a little one. Yeah, <laughs> he's fighting now. It's just a little one. He smacked it good. These things are tough. Yeah, something's on here. Don't know what it is. Nah, small. Uh, look. Babe, come get this one. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Reel it, reel it, reel it, reel it. Reel it fast. Turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. Reel it. You got it on. Double, guys, double. Another, oh, what is this? Oh, it's like a, look at that. That's crazy. Whoa. That's beautiful. What is this thing? 
<sighs> Let's get a picture of the wing spread on this thing. That's crazy, right? Here, let me see that. That thing, nah, there was something else right. on there that hit that. That wasn't this thing. You know? Yeah. I must have missed it and this was already on the hook. <laughs> That's creepy, right? Dude, I have never in my life. We're gonna have to look that one up. Oh no! Yeah, it's over there too. You you lost your whole setup? Yeah, whole setup. I didn't bring the car because uh, uh, my road is parking in the spot. I got I got uh I got more stuff if you need it. I got everything. I can help you set up a new line. Do you have big gloves already? Yeah, bring your stuff over here. Uh, it's their second day here. It was raining this morning. Uh, it is let down now, so we're going to see whatever else we can catch. We've caught so far some scups, also known as porgies. Um, a mix, uh, mixture of fish you'll see in the video. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned all the way to the end. I hope you guys enjoy. Take care. This is a porgy rig that I bought. I don't, it's not the best rig. I mean, I'm catching fish on it, but. I could have been better off tying my own rig but this is what was recommended to me so I bought it and I am catching fish on it but we're gonna use these sandworms if you don't get it right away they start secreting getting slimy geez having a hard time all right let's get that in there we're gonna pinch a little bit off, leave it just like that. Use the other piece for this side. Sometimes these are a pain in the butt to thread. Let's do the best you can, get it up there. We'll see if this works. One ounce weight just as such. Just cast it out there. Let it go to the bottom. If you don't let your line loose and spool, free spool like that, when it reaches, when it's going to the bottom, it's going to go to the bottom at an angle and come back towards you. So you want to let your spool go until it hits the bottom. I think I'm already, yeah, I'm already getting hits, but it's those, it's those small fish. I want to get a slam. You don't, I don't want to set the hook on those small hits. Because it's just those small fish hitting it. There, that's a, that's a actual what we're after right there. That's a, uh, yeah, that's a fighting one. It's a porgy or a scup, whatever you want to call it. Just that fast. They're good head shakers. Good fish. To, they're really full. Oh, look at that. Oh, shaking his head like crazy. Look at that. Got to be 10 inches to keep. Let's measure this one. Good scup. These are good eating. They're basically like drum. Oh, good hit on that. Trying to get that hook out of there. All right, we got that hook out. Like I said, they gotta be 10 inches to keep them. I don't think that's 10 inches, but we're gonna test it and we're gonna check it anyways. This might be eight and a half. Oh, it's actually, yeah, this is eight and a half. See, it ain't gonna make it to the bottom there. So that, that we're gonna let go. my logo right here see it right on yeah absolutely man. yeah on facebook instagram stuff like that you know oh, that's cool man hey, what's your name zeph zeph i'm yep. pedro pedro nice, nice to meet you bro. yeah same here brother pretty cool huh what's your youtube channel morales outdoors i did i gave your dad a card yeah okay. yeah so if you cast I watch a lot of youtube you see that boat right there yep if you if you're able to it doesn't really matter if the closer you cast it you got a lot of small black bass 
So if you cast it out just a little bit further, you kind of get away from them a little bit. But the thing is, is those little bites that you get, the little tiny bites, don't set the hook on those because that's the little black bass. Wait till you get a hard hit. When you get that hard hit, then set the hook because that's that's going to be a scup or, or the porgy. Okay? So the hard hits, you set the hook. The little taps don't set the hook because otherwise you'll just be bringing in a bunch of little fish. Try it out. See what happens. Oh, terrible cast. Oh, here we go. I already missed that hit. Got him again, guys. Another scup. <laughs> Look at that. Nice one. Look at that. That was my first time ever fishing for these two. Oh, really? Never, yeah, never did it before. Yup. Yeah, and I want to catch a bluefish too. I, I hear those suckers are ruthless. Yeah, go for it. They're strong. What? Hold on to them good because they'll, they'll squiggle right out of your hand. Oh, I missed it. This right here is the size that of a fish that I caught. Joey, you closed up that. Oh, there's still a lot. Oh, this is like. Are you catching them because they keep them? Yeah, here's another one right here. It's a good one. I love the head shakes that they do. Look at that, guys. Those head shakes are wicked. Fishing them on spinning tackle. Oh man, I, I should pull my light rod out. That's that'd be sick. I was, I was fishing for. I caught a good size. Oh, I got two right? on here again. I got another double, guys. That's why. It, oh no, I don't. I thought I did. Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. Look at that. You know, Sam's has got a competition right now on these. So the biggest. Oh, Sam's spinning tackle. Yeah. That's where we just were. Okay, yeah, he's got a competition right now, $250 for the biggest one. Um, I think right now it's, uh, it's the biggest one is 16 inches, you two and a half these? pounds wow. or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a huge one. Look at that. That's a beauty. Yeah, and I've never eaten these before either, so. Good one on, guys. Decent. It's fighting though. Good head shakes. Good crazy head shakes. Nothing uh, outrageously special that I'm doing here. It's two hooks, a weight, and sandworms. Um, the only thing that I would recommend if you're trying to get scups, especially over here in this spot, is those little small taps that you get, um, ignore them. Uh, let them tap, let them hit it. Um, just leave it alone. When you get that hard hit, that harder hit, that slam, Then you set the hook. You can tell the difference between uh, those black bass and the scups hitting. 
And if I'm not getting no hits right away, I'm, I'm bringing it in towards me a little bit, giving it a little bit of movement, you know, shaking it. Wait about 30 seconds or so. If I don't get a hit, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna shake it, bring it in a little bit, just like that. Let it sit. Oh, good one. All right, here we go, guys. See what this one is. There you go. He hit it hard. He's not that big, though. What a slam. These things are crazy. Look at that. Now we're not going to go as far out this time. Just right there. Oh shoot, already. Good scup. Look at the shakes on the pole. See how they shake their head, guys? See that? Those shakes are wicked. Wicked shakes. Look at that. That's easily a keeper right there, so we're going to keep this one. Got a good one. All right. I'll let you guys see the shaking of that pole. Just bring it in slow. See him shaking his head, boy. Look at that. Violent shake, see that? So cool. Let's bring them up. Two of them on there. Look at that double, guys. Check that out. Got two of those bad boys doubled up on those. I think we got to put them both back. I'm not sure. Definitely this one. Good double. Oh my goodness. Fishing's great here for these things, guys. Yeah, that's a nice one. Maybe. Maybe. inches on the dot fine last cast we're gonna go in front of the bridge on this one let's see what happens over there
got him. Feels like a good one. Watch. Look at those head shakes. Crazy, right? Oh, what fun. Oh, I think there's two of them on here, or just one. Oh, another double, guys, look at that. <laughs> Keep getting these doubles pretty slick. Oh, that's a good one, guys. Look at that one. That's a beauty. And that was right in front of the bridge. This one, we'll let go. Oh, got a nice one, guys. Something. I don't know what this is. Yeah, but it's not fighting like a scup. I don't know what it is. Now it is. This is a nice one, guys. Oh, it's a, 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 oh, it's one of those, uh, Sea robin, there you go. Look at that size sea robin, guys. Are you gonna let him go? Yeah. Aww. Check that sea robin out, ladies and gentlemen. He does not want me to get a hold of him. There we go. That's a little sea robin I see. Look at that beautiful thing, guys. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? Beautiful fish. Try to keep my hand out of the way of the camera. Oh, nice hit. Good fish on here, guys. Good hit. Oh. Good porgy right here. Good scope. Good scope. No, he's a little one, but he slammed it. Look at that, guys. Another eight incher. Good fighting fish right here. This uh, destroys the fight of a bluegill, guys. Truly destroys the fight of the bluegill. Look at the colors on that. It's a beautiful fish. There he goes. Getting hits already? Got him. Good one. Another nice one. Two. Look at that. He took that one down in there, guys. 